Hi, I'm Kevin and welcome to my new channel, Coyote Ridge Outdoors. And uh, I've been wanting to do a video here for a little while and uh, it's, the weather's just hit us horrible here. It's just been, I mean, it temp's been nice, but it's super wet and uh, so uh, right. the side of what I do is just a short little intro and maybe a gear drop. Um, what I'm doing with this current setup is kind of a bushcraft shoulder bag. Um, trying to do this on a budget, let you guys see that you don't have to have all kinds of money to be able to do this, get out in the woods and have a good time. So, all right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, uh, I like a fix camera. Uh, no. Okay, so I already had this leather messenger bag. It's actually a pretty nice, nice bag, but, but I had it and it wasn't getting any use out of it. So, decided I'd use it. In the strap right now, I've just got my knife placed there. This is just a cheap Camillus picked up from Walmart. Um, just, uh, you know, probably not up to any big bushcraft task, but, but you know, more of a hunting, fishing type knife. I would like to uh, step up here eventually and maybe uh, order the SEMA 1, that looks to be a really good bushcraft blade, especially for the price. So let's see, starting out, you'll see I have a hatchet in here. This was just, honestly guys, just a $10 hatchet picked up from a hardware store. I used some old bag leather that I had cut up couple of years ago or so and made a collar for it and a cover uh, just simple yet handy sharpened it up some on the belt sander made some inch marks in case I need to measure anything in the field As of right now, what we've got thrown together in this been trying to wait on some find me a piece of soft leather to make a tender bag out of. Haven't come across it yet, so I thought, well, how about a tender box? So I just took this cigar type box and just put it together little kit here. Got a blade in there, ferro rod. Um, haven't been able to collect anything outdoors yet. Like I said, it's been really wet out. Had my uh, Stanley Cook set. Nice little bush pot. GI cup that it nests into. Really, guys, fifteen dollars at Walmart, five dollars at Walmart, twenty bucks. You've got a whole cook set there. Got bank line. Paracord. Juke twine. Couldn't actually find my lighter weight skillet, so right now I have this cast iron skillet. Have my folding shovel. Inside, you'll notice in the handles of the folding shovel, what I have in there is just duct taped up some dryer lint, super easy to spark with the ferro rod. Now this shovel, these are pretty cheap and this one started to bend on me. My plan for that is to just stick the welder to it, weld it up, after I clean it up of course, weld it up, grind it back down to where I want it, strengthen it up. Got 
some wire for binding things. I've got a little file there for sharpening. Um, I do keep some leather and stuff just for, you know, making stuff, good to make stuff at camp. This uh, seems to have plenty of room for all I need. There's still a ton more room in there. Don't want to load it down too much, of course. But that's just, you know, the start of this kit, and it'll change. Um, but everything, either stuff I already had or stuff very cheap, you don't need to spend a fortune. Uh, the main thing is just getting out there and honing your skills and um, enjoying the woods. So until next time, um, I'm Kevin, and we'll see you later.